Hi there. Today I'm going to go through one of these cognitive reflection uh, test questions. And these are great questions because the most obvious answer is not correct. So here's the question. Simon decides to invest $8,000 in the stock market on in uh, one day in January 2008. Six months after he invested, which was on July 17, the stocks he had purchased were down 50%. Fortunately for Simon, from the 17th of July to the October the 17th, the stocks he had purchased went up 75%. At this point, has Simon broken even in the stock market, is ahead of where he began, or has he lost money? Now, if you want to think about the answer, press on the pause button in the bottom left-hand corner. Otherwise, I'm going to go straight into the answer. And the most usual answer to this question when people read it is that he must have uh, made money. He must be ahead of where he began, which is B, because he's lost 50%, but he's actually, and then after losing 50%, he's gained 75%. So um, that's the most obvious answer, but that is not correct, and I'm going to show you why. And I've just done a simple... Uh, 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 calculation here about Simon and his stock market investments and you can see here on January 2008 there's the $8,000 that um, he initially invested and uh, let me know from the question that he was down 50% so 50% of 8,000 means that he lost $4,000 so we'll take 4,000 away from the 8,000 to give a 4,000 valuation, which is the uh, July 17, 2008. His stocks were valued $4,000. But then we know that between July and October, the stocks were up 75%, but they're up 75% on the 4,000. So this, the 4,000 multiplied by 75% equals uh, 3,000. So we add 3,000 onto the 4,000 and that gives us 7,000. So the answer to the question is, if he invests 8,000 in January, his stocks are valued at 7,000 in October, then the answer must be C, has lost money. So Simon has lost money. And, and it's all to do with percentages, I suppose, because you're the down 50% is on the 8,000, but the up 75% is only on the 4,000 because it's um, from July to October they increased by 75%. So we know that on July 17 they're worth 4,000 plus 75% gives you 7,000, which is still below his initial purchase price in January of the 8,000. So there we go. Simon has, has lost money um, after he invested 8,000 going down 50% and then up 75%. So he's lost money as of October the 17th, 2008. So the correct answer is he has lost money. Okay, thanks, bye.